Hi everybody, it's Samantha and welcome to this video from the comfort of my bed again. My daughter's sleeping, which is why I kind of am keeping my voice down. Okay, so my last video was a vlog about, it was scan day for me. I needed a nuclear bone scan and a CT scan with contrast to check to see if my cancer had spread. Obviously go check out that video if you're interested in any of that process. The bones that had cancer in them have been healing well and the cancer in the lymph nodes has been shrinking. Just the one spot in my left breast has been getting bigger. This was all really good news, first of all. I was really encouraged by these results. That means that the treatment I'm on is mostly working. My oncologist told me that he really wouldn't have been that worried about the breast mass even if it was only a little increase but it was kind of a big increase it went from eight millimeters to 17 millimeters so what he suggested was to get a lumpectomy to remove that part of the breast because just the cancer that's in the breast just for some reason isn't responding like the cancer in the rest of my body he took my case to tumor board, which is something I've explained in some other videos, but I'll explain it again. Um, it's basically like a little panel of doctors that all meet together and try to decide what's best for patients. Whenever I've had really big treatment decisions, um, my oncologist has taken my case to tumor board so that he can get the opinion from a lot of different doctors, which um, is always really good because it means that like you're getting verification from other doctors that they also think that this is a good idea. My oncologist will come back from that meeting and tell me, hey, like the doctors really recommended this. Some people thought this, some people thought that because sometimes there's different opinions, but he'll say most people think you should do blah, blah, blah. And he took my case to the tumor board. He said, I'm pretty sure that everyone's going to say you should get a lumpectomy, but I'm going to take it just in case, just in case somebody has something else to say which is another reason i really like my oncologist because he's not just like i know what's best for you he is cautious and he takes my case to other doctors and um consults with and consults with other doctors all the time but it did happen as he thought um they all said that yeah you should probably have her get a lumpectomy so that's what i'm going to do i'm going back to my original surgeon that did my lumpectomies last time um, because she's really good and I really like her. At the time that this video is posted, I probably won't have had my surgery yet, but it should be coming up pretty soon. I have a date scheduled, but it might be moved earlier if they have an opening. My surgeon wanted me to get an MRI before the surgery, um, which is pretty standard. Uh, the MRI just gives them a better picture of everything, just and it's focused just on the breast area. Last time I had lumpectomies, I needed to get an MRI before it too. I got that MRI at the beginning of April, and then I had an appointment with my surgeon to go over the results and to get ready for the surgery and everything. And um, she said that the MRI looked good. It didn't show her anything that she wasn't expecting based on the CT scan that I had earlier in March. Then at the appointment, she said, I think that this looks good. I think everything's gonna go well, but I want you to go have that spot ultrasounded just in case, um, just in case there's something that might show up that I'm not expecting. And I went and I got the ultrasound and everything again showed up exactly how she was expecting. So she's expecting the surgery to go fairly well. Hopefully um, we can get all the cancer out. It's interesting with stage four because it kind of feels like people aren't as concerned about getting all of the cancer out of your body as they would be if you had stage three or lower breast cancer um, because with stage three and lower breast cancer, the cancer hasn't spread to other parts of your body. So they basically just like try to remove it and remove all the traces if they possibly can so that it has the least likely chance of coming back. And my case was always stage four from the beginning, but it was treated sort of more like a stage three case because it had only spread to one tiny spot in my body, um, just one tiny spot on my rib the first time I was diagnosed five years ago. And so when we were going through all this then, it was kind of like, oh, we needed to get all the cancer out of the breast. We need to make sure that radi we do radiation to get all the excess cancer. And it was all like we were going for a cure then. 
and now it's just kind of a different vibe it's kind of like oh we're not going for a cure we're going for a like let's see how long we can keep you around and um let's see how long we can like keep the cancer from affecting your life and um just give you the best survival odds and length of life as possible. And the reason for that shift is really just because there's not like a real cure out there for when cancer has metastasized to this many different places in your body um, because now the cancer is throughout my spine and pelvis and uh, I think there's like a spot in my skull also but just different places in the bones. And so since I was kind of getting this vibe I guess, I asked my surgeon, is it as important this time that we get all of the cancer out of the breast? Um, because last time when I had a lumpectomy, we didn't um, get all the cancer out. There were still positive margins. And so then I had to go in for a re-excision lumpectomy procedure where they took more out and then the margins were all negative. And so we, it, we thought that we got all the cancer out. So I was like, is it as important now that we get negative margins? And she basically said, well, we're still definitely going to try for negative margins because we want to get the tumor out because for some reason, the cancer that's in your breast is not responding to the treatment as well as everywhere else in your body. So we want to take out that part if we can and get all that if we can so that we don't have cancer in your body that's not responding to treatment. So it's still like, kind of important that we get all of the cancer out of my breast that we can. So I will try to make another surgery vlog um, and hopefully we will get good results from that but I will keep you updated and everything when I know and when I have time to make videos about it. The surgery shouldn't be too bad. It shouldn't be as bad of a recovery as last time because last time I had a bunch of lymph nodes taken out of my left arm too and that um, I needed drains for that and I needed to go under general anesthesia. This time I don't even need to do all of that. It's just going to be a smaller procedure. It's only going to be an hour. They're just taking out a little part of my breast and so the recovery should be better. She told me that I should be able to lift my daughter in like a few days, which was like amazing to hear. Um, she said that I can't lift anything on the left side of my body because the breast is my left breast, but I should be able to lift things on the right side of my body, um, like maybe like three or four days after the surgery. And so that was super encouraging because one of the things that I really hated about my back surgery was that it took months until I was able to pick up and hold my daughter again. So I'm really happy that it's not going to be too bad of a recovery. And so I'm just hoping that everything goes well. And like I said, I'll keep you updated. One question that you might have that we also did have was why is this cancer not responding as well? Why was everything going well in the bones and not in the breast? And um, there's not really a full answer for that. I asked my oncologist, I asked the surgeon, and it's just something that happens. Sometimes certain places in your body just don't respond as well, and this is known um, with chemo too. Chemo will work better on certain places than others. It's possible that the cancer that is in my breast kind of mutated in a different way. It's possible that the cancer in my breast lost its estrogen receptor. If it has lost its estrogen receptor, then it makes sense that the treatment I'm on isn't working in that spot because the treatment I'm on is really, the only reason I'm doing this treatment is because my cancer is estrogen receptor positive, meaning that it uses estrogen to grow and the treatment that I'm on tries to block estrogen and target that type of cancer specifically. So if it's lost its estrogen receptor, then like it won't respond to that treatment because it's not using estrogen to grow. Obviously at the time of surgery, they're gonna take the tumor out, they're gonna biopsy it to try to get as much information as possible on it. So they'll be able to tell if it's lost its estrogen receptor, which I guess is good information. Um, I hope that it hasn't, but if it has, it, I guess it kind of gives us an explanation and then we're not just like wondering, well, why would, why didn't it respond? But yeah, I don't know. I'm, we'll just wait and see what the results say. I'm debating whether to put this in the video or not. So if this is in the video, just like don't come at me too hard for like not knowing too much about this. But 
My oncologist mentioned that there was a study a long time ago um, somewhere, I forget where he said it was from, it was somewhere in Europe, I feel like. Um, they found that removing the primary tumor was better for survival chances. That gives him encouragement that like removing this tumor will be better for me. Um, he said there's since been studies that have like disproven that that show that like it doesn't actually make a difference at all. This is where it's going to be hard for me to explain, but like since there was a study at one point that found that, that's like kind of encouraging and there hasn't been obviously any studies that say like, oh no, you shouldn't take out the tumor, like it's bad to take out the tumor. So that's just like another thing that gives us hope that this is like a good treatment decision and option for me. Obviously it doesn't pull a lot of weight, but it's something at least. An update on me, I'm doing fairly well on my targeted therapy and hormone therapy so far. I think it is a lot better than um, the treatment that I was on years ago that I stopped. The drugs are very similar. They cause a lot of the same side effects, but I don't feel them as strongly as I did before. I don't know if it's because I'm older now, or if it's because I've been through a pregnancy, or if just these medications are better than the other medications for me specifically, because some people obviously have better reactions to other ones based on like who they are and everyone's different. If you're wondering, I'm on abemacyclib and anastrozole. Abemacyclib is also called Verzenio. A big side effect of that one is diarrhea, and that is something that I'm still dealing with. I'm just trying to figure out how to manage it, and it's something that I'm just dealing with every day. I would say that that is probably the worst side effect that I'm dealing with, and to me, that's good. There's also something to be said for being on this treatment and knowing it's working and doing something. Um, that makes me feel better and more encouraged, and last time, I was on the treatment and it was like, I don't even know if it's doing anything at all or if it's just making me feel bad for no reason um, because there was like no evidence that it was doing anything or working or if I just didn't have cancer return just on its own. I can tell a difference in just the energy that I have and how I feel and how I even look. Um, I don't know if you want to go back and look at old videos from, um, you know, 2020, 2021, and just like kind of look at what I look like. Um, when I look at old pictures, I just think, oh my gosh, I was exhausted. Um, my eyebrows were thinner, just my eyes were so puffy. Um, and I just looked like I was struggling. And I think I don't look like that as much now. I definitely am having eye problems again, but I don't think that they are as severe as they were last time. And just in general, all of my side effects aren't as severe. The hot flashes are better than they were. Um, last time I couldn't get any sleep at night because of the hot flashes. So that probably played a part into why I looked so exhausted all the time. Oh, my daughter's waking up. I'll be right back. So I finished this real quick, okay? Okay, so she didn't want to go back to sleep, so she's not going back to sleep, I guess. Um, I'm basically done. All I wanted to say was I'm not going to lie and say that everything is going amazingly because obviously there's still stuff that I'm dealing with with side effects, but I think that it's going pretty well, and I think in comparison to what other people say about medicine that I'm doing fairly well, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, I, I'm encouraged. I'm really happy about my scan results and I'm just hoping the surgery goes well. I'll keep you updated. Um, subscribe if you want to follow along and thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment if you have any questions and yeah, that's all, bye.